Some of you may be feeling that you listen well to people. The chances are very great indeed that your listening has not been the type that we are about to describe. Rogers insisted that his readers conduct a short experiment when they found themselves next in a dispute. Stop the discussion for a moment. Institute this rule. Each person can speak up for himself only after he has first restated the ideas and feelings of the previous speaker accurately and to that speaker's satisfaction. Peterson has found this technique very useful in his private life and practice. And this is something I've been incorporating through my learnings of how to win friends and influence people, which I've summarized as well. A tremendous um, classic, you know, 80, 90 year old book uh, that you can find here as well. But this is what they talk about. It's like, hold on, we stop the conversation and, and, and pause. So what you're saying is this, you're saying this, and then you restate the person's ideas and you summarize them in a, in a short form. And then you get them to acknowledge, is that, is that accurate? Is that about right? Do I, ha do I understand you correctly? And then, now we have built a bridge of understanding, of common ground. Because oftentimes, we think we understand the person, and they think that we're understanding them, but often there's a there's, there's a disconnect because between, between uh, communication and interpretation. There are several primary advantages to this process of summary. The first advantage is that I genuinely come to understand what the person is saying. Of this, Rogers notes sounds simple, doesn't it? But if you try it, you will discover it is one of the most difficult things you have ever tried to do. If you really understand a person in this way, if you are willing to enter his private world and see the way, uh, the way life appears to him, you run the risk of being changed yourself, and that's scary. That's dangerous. People, that's... That's where conflict occurs, internally. The risk of being changed is one of the most frightening prospects most of us can face. I think if we welcome this, if we welcome that we, if we can be like water, or that we are formless, that we, are, we assume no form, that we, have, that we can adapt and mold our ideas, and that it's okay to disagree, and that it's okay to, it's also okay to find common ground and it's preferred and that should be the first thing we do okay we disagree about some things but let's find some common ground and let's build on that we're at odds with one another and we don't need to be at, at our throats we're all human beings and if we all can find some common ground to build a, a stable relationship on then we can be a bit more productive in this world I really believe that <laughs>